All right, we're inside the Monarch. That is the fluid for um, coolant. And, sorry, as you come in through the hatch, there's a step to the engine cover. A couple of steps down. There's a step thing that used to belong here. Don't know what happened to that. Maybe I just haven't seen it. I've only had this boat a few weeks. I'm just going through it. Got other things going on. It's slow go, but I've got most of this all cleaned up in the cabin, in the galley. It's got a propane stove. It's got this little latch inside this pole. Pull it. It's pretty cute. And the sink doesn't work. That's why he's got this bottle rigged here like this. And, uh, yeah, I wiped all this stuff out. Still going through it. That's why I'm not showing any pictures. But, uh, you say you don't care? Okay, I don't care. So this is, this tarp goes up, keeps everything from, you know, when the boat starts listing, things aren't rolling over into your bunk. And then... If you see these stringers, it's very well built. It's it's a sturdy boat. It goes in back here, and there's some shelving back here. As you walk in the door here, looking outward, there's some tools, some stuff for the boat that, of course, I'd leave. There's a couple of sockets there for something, whether they're lighter sockets and there's your anchor room in there. It's got the uh, manual anchor wench. <laughs> That's a sought after, sought after item. Uh, lots of people like those over the electrics. Less to break, less to go wrong. And they work. Nice handles on them. Uh, so again, there's a hatch that goes into the V-berth. I'm just now getting into this area to wipe up the roof, the ceilings. Oh man, yeah, this boat on the outside had a damn lawn growing on it. I pressure washed this thing to death. Some pieces of wood chipped off, has to be replaced, but it's just like molding stuff, easy, white paint, white gray paint, whatever. Um, you know, it's got, I'm five foot nine and I've got at least six, seven inches, maybe more on top of here. I don't know. In any case, it's perfect for the 5'9 person, maybe 5'10. For in here, once you start going into the V berth, you have to duck. All right, so that's pretty much it. There's this well. He had taped up some things like holding his phone in a holder and I didn't want to drill holes, and I don't blame him. I put paper plates over these ports. They fit pretty good, and they look okay, but of course you can take them off. And let's see here. Again, there's looking out. There's the rigging. If you look down at the base of this rigging thing, I've done some OSFO work, getting up the rust. There's more to be done up top there. Then I've got some great stuff that say first I use this guy then I'm gonna cover it and this can be painted over this is um, underbody for cars and it just it encapsulates the rust it doesn't it doesn't continue it'll stop it in the tr tracks in any case that's the stuff brother Carl uses it he's a foreign auto mechanic and he uses this on a vehicles he wants to put it on his and uh, just a little extra added protection he rides a dirt bike he has boats whatever that'll stop the corrosion and you can paint over it even though it's black you can paint over it all right anyway you saw the engine uh, and and here is the kitchen <laughs> yep the gas stove haven't even tried I haven't tried a lot of stuff on this boat. I haven't even started it. But I know it starts. I know it will. <clears throat> Just change out the impeller and 
I'm, I've got a guy wanting to uh, help me out with diving the boat, and he's going to clear the intake, and then, you know, that's about it. It's 4000 with in, in the impeller needing work. Just have to take it out, replace it. It's a simple job. It's typical, as you know. Um, yeah, it's easy to get at. Anyway, got all the schematics on the engine. Never a problem. All right, time to re uh, save this to YouTube, and I'll send it to you. Good luck. Later. Good luck with the house.